Hey, my name is Attorney Walter Wolf, not the third. I'm with Disability Resolution PA. We're going to be going through acronyms, and the acronym we're going to be doing, uh, basically an acronym for the Social Security Disability Field of Law, is EJA. E A J A. What does E A J A stand for? E A J A stands for um, the Equal Access to Justice um, Act. It, basically, what we use the Equal Access to Justice Act. What we use this for is for fees um, when we get to the federal level. Okay. Um, and, there, and the reason for that is that um, the, these essentially these fees basically, you know, the traditional 25% up to 6K, well that 6K basically goes away and it just becomes 25% of the available fees of back pay and a retroactive benefits. And there's actually two ways to get paid. There's, there's actually, well no, there's three ways because there's a subsection A and subsection B and then there's the Aegis. I'll go through that whole thing later because that, that gets really complex. Well, not really that complex. It, it, if you're new to it, it, it gets really complex pretty fast. But I'll go through that in another video. Either way, my name is Attorney Walter Roof, not the third. I'm with Disability Resolution PA. Uh, if you have a unique question for your unique claim or if you want uh, the most up-to-date information, give me a call. You don't have to be a client to give me a call. Um, at the end of the day, uh, if this video helped you in any way at all, please leave me a five-star, five-star, five-star Ava review. And we don't do case-specific video responses, but we do do general tutorial video responses. So if you want to send me case-specific information, please don't put in the reply of these videos. Please go ahead and shoot me an email or give me a call. All right, you have an absolutely wonderful day, and I'll catch you later. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.